This is Ralph Irvin at the Rose Bowl, where Saturday night the UCLA Bruins will open their home schedule against Stanford. We begin our game preview by looking at the offense. Here's quarterback Kevin Prince and wide receiver Taylor Embry talking about Stanford's defense, as well as addressing some of the miscues from the opener a week ago. You know, there's some good things. You know, whenever, you know, a game like that happens, you know, you, you look at the film and it's never as good as you think. It's never as bad as you think. And you, you find some things that obviously you could do better on, but you find some things that you did do well on. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue to build on those things. And uh, obviously we're going to try to just get that passing game going and make sure that, you know, we don't have the – the mistakes that we made last week. Last week, the receivers had a case of the drops, but we, we know that we're capable of making all those catches. Uh, real uncharacteristic of the wide receiver group to drop passes like that. But this week, we've just been working hard, staying extra, getting on the jug machines, uh, really focusing on watching the ball in, you know, back to the fundamentals. Uh, and this week, we're ready, all the wideouts are ready to make some big plays. You know, we face a tough team, obviously, uh, a team that was in the hunt for the Pac 10 championship last year and is expected to do the same this year. Um, and they're going to have, you know, being Stanford, they're always going to have smart defensive players and guys that are going to know their assignments and, and, you know, challenge us. Uh, so we just got to make sure that we're on our game and uh, we're going to continue to run the ball well this week and we're going to get the passing game back on track and just try to take advantage of uh, what they're giving us. We know that they're going to come out and be tough and disciplined. You know, we played them last year. They came out and they put up a really good fight on defense. Uh, schematically, they, they came out in a 4-3. And uh, just know that we're going to be facing a tough opponent. They're going to come down here hungry for a win, but we're just as hungry. On the defensive side of the ball, we get inside from defensive end Damian Holmes and safety Tony Dye. It's a learning experience, you know. Uh, a lot of guys starting, but, you know, that's over with. So we got experience starting, so we just got to – we got to improve from uh, from last week and just uh, and uh, you know get the W. I think this week we've really dialed in and locked it in. People are going to make plays, but within the responsibility, you know, people are going to hold their gaps and they do the jobs right this week. Uh, Stanford has a lot of weapons. You know, they lost Toby Gearhart to the NFL, but there's still guys there that can make plays. Uh, they have an experienced offensive line, so we just got to make sure and uh, be ready for them. Just like last year when they had with Toby, a real physical, disciplined football team. You know, and of course they got. Uh, the quarterback, Andrew Luck, he's coming back. He's much more mature. Got a, you know, he's better at uh, awareness, reading things, everything. So, you know, I think we're going to see a very physical team, you know, but with, with a very efficient passing game at the same time. Once again, UCLA will host Stanford Saturday night right here at the Rose Bowl. One other note, UCLA coaches will be wearing red on the sidelines for the first time ever. That's because they'll be wearing these shirts, sporting the UCLA logo with the Stars and Stripes, commemorating the ninth anniversary of September 11th. Players will also be wearing the Stars and Stripes as they wear shirts, just like this, during their warm-ups. Those shirts will also be available for sale on campus at the UCLA store. Of course, with more information on UCLA football, you get the best notes right here. Bruin TV, UCLABruins.com.